The shortages we have seen so far is just the beginning. The global response to the pandemic during 2020 and 2021 caused the most epic supply chain crisis in modern times. Now black swan events such as the war in Ukraine and the bird flu pandemic are making the supply chain even worse. In 2020 and 2021, we saw shortages of food, toilet paper, truck drivers, and other laborers. Couple that now with inflation and we see the skyrocketing price of food and gas. Black Swan events such as the war in Ukraine, the bird flu, which has seen over 27 million birds killed, the rising price in agricultural commodities, shortages of fertilizers, the coming shortage of cooking oil, will make the supply chain crisis even worse. There will be more wars, pestilences, and natural disasters. Even the UN is admitting that we're headed into the worst global food crisis since World War II. David Beasley, head of the World Food Program, told the UN Security Council, if the war in Ukraine continues, it will lead to famine and destabilization of countries. So if you think global supply chain problems are severe now, just wait until you see what is coming next. If you go to major retailers today, you will notice stock levels are lower than usual and there are empty shelves. According to IHS market, the list of causes of food inflation are numerous, but there are six causes of inflation at the moment. Number one, Chinese demand for feedstuff, China demand for soybeans, corn, sorghum, wheat, and other feed grains has soared since early 2020. Processing and logistic issues have spread across the whole supply chain, increasing freight rates and clogged ports, causing shortages. Also labor shortages have caused intermittent shortages of meats and produces around the world. Production issues over the past two years have led to higher prices. Poor weather and labor shortages have hindered production. And a drought in Brazil impacted corn and soybean. Decarbonization of motor fuels has led to a new technology that allows for increased blend of vegetable and animal fat derived diesel into diesel fuel. And this has caused a surge in demand for oils, fats, and oil seeds. Policy decisions have led to labor shortages and at the same time, high demand for products with a lower supply has led to increased inflation. Also, Russia and Ukraine are some of the world's largest exporters of grains and vegetable oils. With the war and sanctions, exports of these products are being disrupted. If you add inflationary causes and shortages together, a black swan event can cripple the supply chain once again. Already, there are reports of shortages in pet foods, construction materials, chicken and turkey meat, eggs, baby formula, and the coming cooking oil shortage. U.S. Senator Roger Marshall recently admitted that a worldwide famine is definitely going to happen. There is no avoiding that now. The best way is to be prepared. Make sure you have plenty of survival items. Canned meats, fruits, and vegetables. Dehydrated meats, fruits, and vegetables. Dry goods such as pasta, flour, sugar, and other baking goods. Grains like wheat, oats, and rice. Beans. Seasonings like salt and pepper. Basic medical supplies personal hygiene products, cleaning supplies, pet foods and pet medications, prescription medicines, extra cash, anything that you use on a daily basis. Now is the time to stockpile these items. There are many items of survival, but the main focus is food, water, and shelter. If you haven't started a proper pantry, now is the time to start one. If you've started one already, now it's time to add more to it. Not just your prepper pantry, but other items. I've mentioned those in my videos. You can look through some of my videos on survival items. After the basics, food, water, shelter, there are other important things we need. We need to keep ourselves clean, which is important. You may need batteries for devices, chargers, generators, extra fuel, books, to teach you how to survive and learn from those books. Only you know what is important in your life. Write out a checklist. Make sure you have the things you need because you don't want to ever get to a point, regardless of if we have famine or shortages in food supplies, it doesn't matter. Maybe you'll have a personal difficulty where you lose your job or something and those supplies are there for you 
when you need them. Thank you for watching. And as always, happy purple shopping. <laughs>